Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to run a chat model like ChatGPT on your computer without internet. You heard that right. It was, it was up until recently uh, that people in the comments were saying, how can I run this if I don't have access to internet or GPT isn't in my country? But no, now you can. You can now run these models and you don't need a beefy computer. This is running on a, on a laptop. Um, and yeah, it's just that this technology is just going at an amazing pace. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install these language models, namely Alpaca and Llama, onto your computer. This works with Linux, PC and Mac. So what is Alpaca or even Llama? Well, Meta's AI is Llama. Uh, it's more open source than uh, GPT. And somebody's actually released access to the back end, so we can get the training data for this. Now, Alpaca is a more optimized, smaller version, obviously, because Llama is going to be quite big, and not everyone has 30 to 60 gigabytes lying around on their computers, especially in rural areas. So Alpaca has come in to save the day to kind of make it more accessible for everyone. So, enough twiddling our thumbs, let's jump in on how to do this. Alright, so first thing that we're going to need to do is run over to GitHub and we need to go to github.com slash cocktailpeanut.dali. Uh, the link will be in the description down below or if you're on our website, promptnews.com, uh, this will just be on the article page. Once you're here, don't worry, it doesn't take much actually to get, to get this set up. It'll be up and running in about three to four minutes, uh, depending on your internet speed, that is, and depending on what version you go for. So right now, it currently runs on Linux, Mac, and Windows. The amount of memory required depends on the kind of information that you install. So obviously, the larger the data source, the larger amount of uh, gigabytes it will require. In this demo, I'm just going to be using the smaller version, uh, the 7B, which is about four gig. So the Alpaca 7B, which is quantized, is a posh word for compressed, uh, as mentioned, it comes up just over four gig for the 7B version. So it goes into details about the other versions here, but we're just gonna scroll past that and go on to the quick start. Okay, so I'm on a Mac myself. Uh, if you're on a PC, then I will talk about that in a second. So first you need to install Node.js. So give that a click, go to Mac installer, and then it will start installing and then just install it. Um, default drive is fine. And then pop over back to GitHub. That's, that's the first step. So next, you've got to decide whether you want to install the Alpaca models or the Llama models. I've already installed the Llama models, which are basically the original ones, but they're a lot larger in size. Um, but the Alpaca is the more optimized one and it is smaller. So let's give that a shout. Okay, now in Terminal, uh, we just copy this npx tell alpaca install 7b and paste it in and hit enter. So obviously this part will require internet um, and this will take between four to 10 minutes on an average internet speed. Obviously everyone's internet speed is different, so I can't really quote you there. So just make a cup of tea, sit back, check out our latest websites, news, and yeah, <laughs> come back to it in a minute. And there we have it, it's done, that was quick. Um, right, so now we just scroll down to number three, uh, which is how to start. So we need to type in mpx dali serve. And now our server is running. So to get it up and going, we just need to click on the local host. And there we have it running on our local machine. As for Windows, if I go back to GitHub, it's very similar. Uh, you just need a couple of different programs. So let's scroll down again. Uh, quick start, we want to do Windows. So first download Visual Studio. Uh, you, you can do this for free, just do the free version. While you're in there, you need to select Python development, Node.js and the desktop C++. And then you just choose which modules you'd like to install. Very similar to what we've just done now. You can install either Dalai, Llama or both. Optionally, there are some troubleshooting things here, so if you do run into issues, make sure to check this text. Uh, I'm not a professional on this. Uh, this is new to me also, so I'm still testing it out. And the GitHub is being updated continuously. Additionally, they do have a Discord server, 
So if you do want to pop over the Discord and have a good old chat with other people uh, playing around with this and get additional information, then head over to Cocktail Peanut Factory. The uh, links for the socials are in the bottom of the GitHub. Now, just to give you a quick, brief, non-professional rundown of <laughs> what this is about. So we do have a current templates that you can choose from. Um, actually, we've just installed other packer, so let's give that a try. So you can choose the model over here. Uh, choose a template that you want. I'll stick with default for now, but have a play around, see what you like. So N predict. So this is pretty much like tokens uh, if you use the previous chat GPT. So how much kind of text do you want it to be pumping out? Repeat last and repeat penalty. Do have a play with if your text you find is kind of repeating over and over again. These two I'm not too sure about. Temperature is the same as ChatGPT, so the closer to one it is, the more creative. The closer to zero, the kind of more strict and less creative, if you wish. Seed, uh, minus one means basically the seed will be different every single time you generate. Uh, if you want to stick with the same seed, have a play with that. Threads is CPU threads that you're gonna be using on your processor, and that's pretty much it. And there you have it, ChatGPT equivalent on your computer. It's not quite as good. Uh, if you want to go into more detail, it was actually trained by GPT-3 itself. So if you want to consider GPT-3 as a teacher and this is the alpaca as the student, uh, it can only be just as good, but it won't surpass. With that said, this is an amazing step. Uh, the GitHub's being updated daily and this is just, it's just amazing for people that didn't have it initially really it's now open source for everyone for anyone with or without internet anyway thanks for watching like and subscribe alex out take care